One of the most important contributions to our exhibition from the many artists is the wonderful group of works from Victoria Crowe. And I'm standing in front of perhaps the most significant of that group, which is a wonderful painting called From Dust to Awakening. It was actually made in her Edinburgh studio just a few years ago. Um, and within the group, we have other locales. We have uh, Saint Rémy in France, the Italian inspired work, and we have uh, West Hilton. But this is Edinburgh, and um, it's a view from the studio window out towards our pursuit. That is, in sense, the, the subject. But we get clues as to perhaps some of the things in her mind, but also from the time from dusk to waking. It is about the passage of time. But it's also about the transition from subconscious to conscious. She has deliberately divided the picture into two sections, if you like, the unconscious and the conscious parts, the dusk and then the dawn. And unusually, she's actually included the real profile of Arthur in her testimony, the only time she's actually drawn the profile of Arthur Seaton to into one of the paintings. The ostensible subject of the painting is, of course, the, the trees that she sees from her studio window. Um, it's winter because they're, they're unclad and um, they form a wonderful filigree structure which uh, adds huge visual interest uh, to the composition. And trees of course uh, have become one of Vicky Crow's most important subjects. Elsewhere in the group we have uh, Dunphy's house reference to some of the great Wellingtonians which surrounded her studio which she occupied uh, on two occasions recently and made some wonderful work. Trees, I think, uh, are a significant subject for, for painting and Vicky's engagement with, with trees in various places has been a very important part of her, her development as a person. 